Hello everyone, this is Masami and this is for monthly energy body checkup for September 2020. So September definitely started out differently in terms of what had been going on for the last couple of months. July and August just felt like one month bled into another. But September started out with this kind of a crispness about it, just like, here we go. And so it felt like as, a, as in my, if I'm opening the door into Oz and saw the world in Technicolor. And I finally had very restorative sleep last night and then this actually for the last several days and woke up refreshed and renewed. So I don't know any of you are feeling this way, but I'm certainly feeling the shift and change and you know, possibly this could be seasonal change. This could be that the we are shifting as collective as well. And if you paid attention close enough, there is creative and playful energy that is being unleashed despite many challenges, uncertainties, and disequilibrium and stress in our lives. And these will continue, some of these disruptive energy will continue but there are ways that the we can navigate this. And September is going to be very important for ground, uh, setting the grounds for the next seven months. So I would love for you to look more towards ahead and say through March of 2021, what is it that the you want to see manifested in your life? What are some of your main goals? And then to just stop and really connect with that and tune into what that feels like to you as well. And so, you know, what I see, or what I saw in my mind's eye is the yellow brick road that we're following. All, each of us are following this, but it's needing some raking and weeding and dusting off so we can see it clearly. And just as Dorothy and Scarecrow um, decided to leap forward, boldly into one of the four ways stop that they were at and they needed to decide. Well, Dorothy needed to decide and then she actually just went for it. So we need to choose and we need to choose to move forward. And there's a lot of action required in this month. So pay attention to that. And one of my yoga teachers used to say, you know, you have to decide to, to be do be do be do. And I feel like this is the month that you are going to land on. Is it to be or to do? And land more towards doing. What do you want to see happen in your life? Okay, so it's no longer about just thinking about it, but decide and take the steps forward with whatever it is that the you have been wanting to do, you have been contemplating, you have been talking about. This is the month that you actually take steps forward, however small the step may be, okay? So let's go through five words that, that really were sp speaking to me for this month, and they are process, and next is proactive. The third word is participate and prepare and patience. So let's go through them quickly and I have done a longer live video on this. It was about an hour call. So you can visit my website, masamikavi.com or zenshinginstitute.com and I'll have the links below so you can check it and then you can watch that for free as well where I will go into a little bit more in detail. So first the process is to process some of your old, mm, like maybe outdated, outmoded, way of doing things, thinking, or patterns that the, you have been stuck in. This is the time to really look into what, of, what are some of the old patterns or even the traumas that the, you may need to really address because they have been unearthed over the last several months. So I'm sure many of you have noticed that the, just the things will trigger or things will come up and you go, wow, I have not reacted to things like that in a long time. And so you have been unearthing them. So this is the month that you must get this processed and you've got to work on that. Take the time to work on them. 
and see if you could digest the old system and patterns. And let me grab my notes here that I wrote. Um, I think there are some of the maybe emotional debris that is still in your system, old projects even that, that you got started but you never quite finished. Maybe it could be a writing project. In my case, the, there's a house project, one of the bathrooms really needed to be remodeled. So that's getting done and we're really pushing forward to get that done. And sometimes, you know, we need to look at some of the old, old patterns, but old triggers. And what that is, what those are, are oftentimes words uh, or the way sometimes people speak to you or the way maybe somebody said things, it just will trigger something. So instead of maybe pointing our fingers to the ones that possibly you thought triggered you, you might want to look at yourself and say, what can I do to not react like this? So for instance, words like, you know, lockdown or unrest or life-threatening storm or antibodies, or I wrote down like isolation and alarming and things like that. You may want to look at that, those words that might trigger that are in the news and social media and then see if you could change that. You know, maybe unrest can mean that the you need more rest. So take the un and have a little bit more restfulness woven in to your day, day to day. Um, instead of the lockdown, you might want to look up and say, you know what, I'm going to open up into my possibilities. So it's a little more liberating that way to, even though we're still in parts of places, you know, we're in lockdown or we have um, ways that, that we have to navigate our lives with masks and isolations or distancing, but see if you could create a little more liberating feelings inside you and don't lock down your body with it because your body could get really tight and locking down on your digestive systems, your throat, your glutes, your shoulders can get locked on. So, you know, some of you might be feeling a tense feelings around neck and shoulders too, which I have been. So, and you know, as, instead of isolation, let's look at ways that you can integrate. So I, instead of isolating even your body parts and say, I'm having uh, heart issues. Well, maybe the heart issues are, and it is connected to what's going on with your digestive systems or how you're digesting your fats. So you might want to look at something like that also. Okay, so you're integrating your body and integrating with others as well, but start with your own body. And instead of alarming, you know, alarming news or alarming issues, you might want to say, okay, I am going to bring alertness and awareness. Um, instead of a polarization, uh, we are going to continue to experience the duality, the polarization, separations, um, tribalism, you know, separating each other and politically and socially, emotionally, we, might, we are experiencing all this. So see what you can do every day to unify you from head to toe. Okay. And I, I did suggest some things that we can do on the longer video. So hopefully you can check that out and making that connections. And uh, let's go through. So those are the, some of the things I wanted to mention about the process. And then the next word is proactive. So let's look into September, into this fall. And then, you know, if you're in the Southern hemisphere into the spring as the time to be more proactive with what it is that you wish to manifest and what you wish to see in your life. What are the changes that you are willing to make? Um, so get involved. So it's like, um, you know, wearing your ruby slippers and then really get in, involved in the process of moving forward. Go on the yellow brick road and have more of an action plan and create goals that are achievable, but also make the goals that are like, I heard this um, several months ago, but it's like luck worthy goals. That might be great. You know, create something that's like, I really would love to do that. And set it aside as if it's the, um, the you know, where 
Dorothy is trying to get to, right? She's following the yellow brick road so she can get to the Emerald City. So set that goal high, okay? And so, but you want to be proactive with this. So you don't want to just sit back and say, well, I'm just going to meditate on it. Well, that's, that might be helpful and it is helpful, but what can you do that is a little more proactive? So action oriented and having a daily practice towards that goal is going to be important. And let's see, um, I'm going to talk about a little bit more about discipline on the next one, but get involved in your own health and life and goals. So I had a client this morning that talked about how she can maybe take more supplements and, you know, do this and that. And then I said, you know, it's not always about just taking supplements because sometimes we use supplements as if those are kind of a panacea or even like taking pharmaceutical drugs kind of a level. So what I would love for, I want it, and I did say this to this client, is that I want you to get proactively involved in cooking your foods better, getting your preparation done so that the, you can eat healthy foods regularly. And so get a little bit more involved. And if it means that you get involved in the community around you, so be it. But get involved in what you want to see happen in you as well as collective. Okay. And I think this is when you really want to not just sit back and wait and see. I think we went through that and a lot of the empaths and sensitives really sat back and we, you know, I think we felt pretty okay in most cases. I certainly felt a lot better staying home actually and being isolation wasn't as difficult for me. Um, there are parts of me that really enjoyed the silence and then being at home. And at the same time, I am starting to see that the, this is the time that I really need to start moving out and putting myself out there, reaching for connections and collaboration. So I'll talk about that next. So being proactive was the second one. First is to process, process old stuff, proactive. Third is to participate. So it's a little bit related to what I just talked about, but get your, not just you participating, but get your guides and your inner wisdom, your intuition, your inner knowing, your gut feelings, your senses, your five senses, and then your chakras get involved. And I said on my um, live call this morning, but the chakras need to get involved. So let the chakras participate with you. So it's not just about chakra balancing and chakra cleansing and clearing, but it's allowing and really asking your chakras to participate in your goal that is your setting for the, that you would like to see manifested by March of 2021, okay? So I'm not looking at our day to day or month to month by just like, okay, September 1st and we're done by September 30th. It's not like that. It's not that linear. It's very feminine right now. The, the masculine energy is very linear in that way, but it's more of a feminine energy that's starting to come about right now. And we're, we're really looking for collaboration and integration and supportive system community um, instead of cutthroat and you know it's always about competition and winner or loser or top or bottom or separations like that but it's we are bringing more of a feminine energy so don't look at september as okay i'm just going to go through september and in october will be something else no they're all kind of tied together like a string of pearls so look at them as those meditation pearls as well or meditation um, we call it in Japanese juju, but it's, it's going through them one by one, 108 of them, you know, just know that the one bead leads to the next and leads to the next. So look at September like that, that we're going through this so that the, we can see something happening that you like to see manifest for yourself in the world by March. 
And so for participate, let me look at my notes here. So it's time to engage in life instead of disengaging yourself, distancing yourself, separating yourself, engage in whatever way you can and engage, like I said, engage your guides. So what I have been doing, and I do this often, but I'm very consciously doing it already this month is to have kind of a meeting with my guys and my angels and my inner wisdom and my ancestral energies and my um, um, totem animals and things like that, that they all come together and I have kind of a creative meeting with them and know that the, I am supported, but I'm also asking them to be proactively support me. And I am pretty, you know, clear with them. It's like, I need help with these. So please show up. So get clear because that's what they need and they can help you that way better. Okay. So the newness, the future is reaching for you. So please reach for that newness, the new life that is trying to reach. So the March is trying to reach, you're going to reach towards March actively. Okay. And let me see. So Let's see. Um, yeah, in, engage in life. I've talked about that, but engage in your health as well. Since I'm a health intuitive, I really encourage you to get involved in what's happening in my body. And so, for instance, yesterday I was having some really glitchy, kind of a little bit stuck. You know, the flow wasn't there, and things were not moving in the direction that the, I thought. You know, I would like to see it happen. And I really, I was working for it, but it was just very glitchy. And my husband was feeling it also. So we decided to go outside and do some breathing techniques that I talk a lot about. And one of the breathings is to really shift it, shift the way I was doing things, shift, shifting my energy, shifting my vibration immediately once we were done breathing and then we came inside, the phone call that I had been waiting for came in and came through. So you know, just see what you can do physically to shift. And if you are always eating same things and you don't have a variety, maybe this is a good time to introduce that as well. Okay. And it, like I said, it's a collaboration, you know, it's not the time to really focus on competition. And so I have been, you know, in terms of this participate in your own life and get your chakras and then your guys participate in manifesting who you want to become and who you are becoming. Um, one of the things that you may actually experience is to experience some relational changes. So relationships, some relationships may fall, you know, just maybe disappear. Okay. And then maybe the new relationships will start to come in. And one of the things that the, I have actually actively done um, just, just in this month also, but already, you know, it's just, it's September 3rd, but, um, in, a, I would say the last, a couple of months is that slowly I'm getting rid of groups and maybe connections that are not supportive of working together for the good of all and the collective. And if there's a, too much of an individual emphasis on, I want to accomplish this, and this is all for me then I've been pulling away from that and it's just naturally happening. So if that happens this month, don't, don't be, you know, fearful. Okay. That's the right way that the, you're detoxing, you're cleansing, you're getting rid of old, like the process that I talked about, you're digesting the old. Okay. And in terms of the participate, make sure you're taking responsibility for your own self. So it's not that the others are others may trigger things, but it's how you respond and how you react. It is up to you. So take the responsibility to show up to that, um, that it's, you are creating new you. Okay. So take responsibilities for your health. It's, you're not going to change just because the doctor said you need to lose 15 pounds or, you know, you need to do this. Otherwise, you're, gonna, you're becoming pre-diabetic. It's not because others have told you, but it's you deciding to say, you know what? I have heard a lot of suggestions and many of you work with me one-on-one -on -one as well. And I make suggestions. Maybe this is the month that you actually say, you know what? She has given me some suggestions. 
I am going to start doing them and I will participate and make it as a disciplinary thing. That discipline is going to be important. Wake up and have your morning routine. I have a morning routine. Many of you know my morning routines, right? These are the, the, these steps that I take every single morning and at the end of the day are something so sacred that no matter where I am, no matter what's happening in my life, I'm very disciplined to do those things. So find that in you. Okay, so, and the, so I've gone through process, proactive, participate, and then the fourth one is to prepare. Okay, so prepare for not only the equinox that is coming this month, um, but it's preparing you for the new you that is coming in next year. And it's going to be an unfolding process. Okay, so you're preparing your day um, to support the rest of the day. So preparation comes in the first thing in the morning. How you wake up, how, how did your feet land first thing in the morning? Okay, what was your first thought? Those are all preparing you to have a sense of differentiations or goodness or something that you'd like to see happen in that day. So prepare yourself for that, okay, every morning, okay? And then for, for those of you that are having sleep issues, you definitely want to look at when are you eating your dinner? What are you eating for dinner, okay? Dinner is going to prepare you how you're going to sleep. So a lot of people, you know, that I work with have insomnias or they have sleep issues, but I always have to ask them, what was their dinner like? And then also what was their day like? previous to. If we don't look at that, we can't really look at the sleep issues. So prepare yourself. And then maybe it's time that you start to prepare your foods a little bit more. I have personally noticed that I didn't want to prepare a lot of foods in August or July. Just, I don't know. It just was a really tough two months that the, I didn't want to get too involved in a lot of things. And, you know, I was saying to the live call this morning too, that the, I was starting to use onion powder and garlic powder instead of chopping my own onions and garlic and things like that. So it's now let's start to prepare what you're going to feed for your body. What do you want to nourish yourself with? So be involved in your preparation stage. And, and I've talked about having your daily practice and be disciplined with it and set goals for what you wish to see in seven months from now, okay? And the last one is the patience. So be patient, okay? This is a, a new reality that we're in. None of us been here, and we don't know how this is gonna completely unfold. This isn't a short-term thing. We are preparing ourselves so that we can go into this new realm. So be patient. Some things may immediately happen. Some, I have actually noticed that the, I would get my guys to get involved with me. And then 20 seconds later, something's happening. Or I'll do the breathing technique. And then that shift is so fast that, the, like I said, the phone call that I had been waiting for just come, come through my phone immediately. But then there are certain things that the, I know that the, I need to really tap into my patients and stay with it. It, you know, if it hasn't happened yet, that doesn't mean it isn't going to. So stay kind to yourself as well as be flexible. And the flexibility has to be shown on your body also. So do some stretching, do some different kinds of breathing, different kinds of moves, have a little more range of motion. So if you're always doing the same kind of activities, introduce something different so you have flexibility in your body and you're challenging yourself in that range of motion also. And we are still in the liminal space, which is the in-between space. We don't know um, exactly where we're headed, okay? But we are certainly headed to somewhere that is new. And I am excited, so remain excited even in the midst of the storm. Okay, or midst of this not knowing space. And something may move, you know, I say something may move fast um, and some things may be taking some time, but, you know, just stay with it. Have that, the Emerald City 
ahead of you because you're just taking one step at a time on the yellow brick road, okay? Um, and then keep your expectations in check. So if you have certain expectations for certain project needs to be done by this time in this fashion and the outcome should be this way or um, you know, expectations towards yourself or others, just kind of pull back and say, you know, what are some of the things that's keeping me feeling stuck? Because oftentimes it's our own expectations, okay? And so I talked about staying flexible, okay? And, and also staying flexible while trusting the process. So I think being patient actually comes with ingredients, like two ingredients, right? One is to create the range of motion, stay in that flexible space, and then have faith that, that you are being supported, trust this process, trust that, that you're on the right path, okay? A lot of people say to me, am I on the right path? And the answer is yes, you're on the right path, okay? So keep moving forward. You may have to alter it a little bit. You may have to stop and rest once in a while. You may need to take care of your thirst and you know, sit under a tree for a while, but you're on the right path, okay? And the right timing, right action, right place, they are, they are wanting to come through you, okay? So be involved, allow these things to unfold and support you also. Let future support you as well as sort out your past patterns and use the strengths that you've gained from it. And because you have come this far, okay? You wouldn't have come this far if you didn't learn and used your past experiences to be where you're at, okay? So use that, but don't lose sight of what your goal is. Make it luck-worthy goal, okay? Emerald City worthy goal, okay? And this month, work on the doobie doobie do part and participate in your life as much as you can. Thank you for watching. And then if you want to check out the uh, little bit longer one that I did, go ahead and go to masamikavi.com or zenshinginstitute.com and I'll put the link below again, okay? Thank you so much for watching, bye.